welcome to uh, SS photography today we are going to be editing this beautiful portrait using frequency separation and for those of you who don't know what frequency separation is it's actually a method whereby you separate the texture and the skin tone so you can work on them differently so without further ado let's get right into it so here we are on Photoshop um, we have a beautiful picture of this model here I'm just going to zoom in and you can see there's a lot of blemishes on her face and her skin tones is not quite even yeah we have very dark skin tones compared to this place and her face you know what I'm talking about so it's not actually you no know, even so we're going to use frequency separation to actually blend this and then after that we're going to capture one and then we'll work retouch the photo even more to make it very uh, to make it beautiful and make it pop so first of thing i'm going to do i'm going to ctrl j to duplicate the layer twice and then i'm going to rename it this one rename it our color layer yeah i rename this our texture layer so now i'm going to turn off this one and this layer select this layer color layer and here we are going to separate the texture just we just want only the color the skin tones so select this layer go to filter um blow gaussian blow now pick a point where you know there's a lot of skin texture and then you're going to blow it out see you see the future of the face but you can't see the skin texture anymore so right about yeah it's okay 4.6 or 4.6 4. Point, let's leave it at 4.6 okay 4.6 is okay so do what's best for you any 4.6 to 4.9 is okay now click on turn on our texture layer and then what we're going to do we're going to subtract the texture from the uh, image this image so come here image apply image and then this is the setting you're going to use color we are subtracting it from the color layer well, your blending mode subtract 100% scale to 100% opacity offset 128 this is the settings for an 8-bit image if you come here at the top you see this image is 8-bit image and if it is 16-bit you know the way to do it just come here turn it to add your scale should be 2 you invert and then you get it for your 16 bit so we're working with 8 bit image so i'm going to turn it back subtract scale to and um, offset 120 and then click ok so we're going to group these two layer together now name this group frequency separation enter okay now i'm going to open it and then i'm going to turn off the texture layer so i can see only the um, color layer now you are going to select your mixer to brush if you don't see your mixer to brush is right at the corner here select mixer to brush now keep your flow your weight at 9 percent load 75 mix 90 flow 100 some keep the eyes 30 30 30 30 some just need but the most important is this effect because it works very well for me and then click this one and check clean the brush after each stroke sample all layer no don't sample all layer we're only working with the current layer so you leave this one on check and then you take your you pick and now you're going to paint rather so what you're going to notice is if you check her face that's the that's the contour the movement of her skin on the light with the light and also the movement the way her skin is the contour of her skin that is the movement you are going to go so for this you can see it's like a circle so you're going to move in that direction this is also like a straight line so like a curve you're going to move in that direction so let's go blending this so click and blend don't drag just that particular place blend it continue blending till you have an even skin tone so i'll keep on blending and for the sake of this tutorial i'll try as much as possible to be fast and do a rough just a rough job but you know you can take your time and then do it so what you have to take note is somewhere like this you need to know so you won't lose the highlight and the shadows so look at this place you're just going to blend it a little bit and then you can leave the highlight 
blend the highlight to it like that so here i'm going to blend it even more so you just keep on blending till you have an even skin tone here so at some place you need to make the brush a little bit small look at the eye here we're going to blend it just like that So I'm releasing my mask and I'm actually painting. So look at this nose, it's actually in like a curve. So you flow in that direction, curve. This is circle. So flow in that direction. Good. All right, here, yeah, make it a little bit bigger and then brush on her face. So you get the idea. So I'm just going to quickly rush through and blend our chin to get the perfect job. So somewhere like this, we see the light, the um, light they use on our, on our nose here and on the reflection here. So you just have to make sure you're not actually blending that, in, blending that into some part of our skin. So you just you know, make it a little bit realistic so our nose here is in this direction so take note of the light good so you get the idea so Okay, that is that. Let's just leave it right about there. I'm just going to blend it a little bit more and then we're good. So, okay, in order for us not to have a flat image, we just need to take care while blending. Okay, I think it's good now. I'm going to increase the brush and get this place a little bit more smooth so see that's what I'm talking about you don't take care you are going to make the image flat so just take your time and blend the skin tones okay so now that we have the I'm okay with that now we're going to turn on select this layer turn it on now you change the blend mode sorry the first one you change the blend mode to linear light and then you come it comes result to this now if you check we have this before and after before and after so we blend the uh, the skin tones a little bit if you are not okay you can just come here and keep on you know blending it as you've seen it so now you're going to have a uniform skin tone so you can just keep on blending till you have a uniform skin tone reduce blend remember select the color layer if you are doing this still using your mixer brush so make it smaller and then blend yeah okay so now we are good now for the texture layer, select the texture layer, we can see a lot of blemishes, a little bit. The skin texture, some are actually having a little bit pimples. So select your clone stamp to zoom in a bit. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now you're going to sample an area pressing down hot. So this is closer to, this place is closer to where this pimple is. So I'm just going to press out close to this place and then I'll sample and then I'll paint over. Sample, paint, sample, paint, sample, paint. So you keep on doing that. Sample, paint, sample, paint, sample, paint, sample, here, yeah, paint. You get the idea. So remember, a line is checked. So I'm going to leave it on check. It depends. If you 
if a line is checked, it means the um, as you are moving, the, the area where you sample will also move along and then automatically sample other area for you. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep on sampling until I get even skin tone and uh, even texture. So, yeah, you can see sample this place, put sample, sample here, put sample here. You just need to be careful. Don't sample where you know. Yeah, sample put. Yeah, it's okay. So my hand is my left hand is on hot, so I can easily sample and you know. So you do that. Us. Take your time and finish doing that. You can see it's going to okay, so we're good. Eh? Eh? I did come, I go soon go house. I go soon go house, you know the house. I go so easy, she know the night go some. So keep on sampling. All right. So yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, I didn't. I didn't think that is okay. This is okay. You undo that. So you can always undo when you're not okay with what you did. So yeah, yeah. All right. So we're good. Now just a little bit of this place. Uh, what else? What else? Yeah. Just keep on sampling till you get, you know, you're, you're satisfied. So we are okay. So you know, for your time, when you're doing it on your own, you can actually. So I think I'm okay. I can stop here now. Now let's zoom out. I'm going to zoom out, press out, and then zoom out. So these are we've actually succeeded in, you know, making the image pop from this after before after before after so there's a, a lot of things you can also do as you see now you can make the teeth white and then you know correct the photo but i'm just going to like a high here no white and the rest of but we're going to do that we're going to do that maybe in another tutorial but if you check if i turn on this layer you can see the highlight is actually coming popping out yeah we have more light details of the light and a little bit you know dark but since we blended the skin it actually reduced that so i'm going to fix that just now so on clicking your frequency layer click on course now i'm just going to increase the slider from the midpoint till we have a little bit more highlight like this okay this is okay then what i'm going to do i'm going to double click on the curves to bring out the layer style and then i'm going to remove the this um the the curve highlights from the dark area so like this and then it should like get the where i want it yes i think that is okay and let's take it a little bit backwards okay to get the chin here Okay, that is okay. Then I'm going to press Alt and divide this into two. Alt and click with this, spread this slider, and then you slide. I think it's okay like this. I'm okay like this. And then click OK. So before, after. We have a little bit. If it's too much, you can also come here, decrease the fill to you get what you're looking for increase the fuel now zoom out sorry okay zoom out now if you check before after before after i think it's a little bit too much 
So I'm going to reduce it. So I have before, after, before, after. So we succeeded. I'm going to drag it in the frequency separation folder mm -hmm. so I can turn it before, after. So we have the same. Um, the same highlight and the same shadow from there. So right now I'm going to save it and I'm going to take it into Capture One for further editing too. So stay tuned.